observe this behavior and report it to us. Please contact our continue to contact our tip line at 1-855-744-3879. We will have an updated picture on our Facebook page shortly after this press conference. We are continuing to work with agencies uh, local, state, the Department of uh, Criminal Investigation, the FBI. We have every resource that is available in, across the nation working this case. I couldn't be more happy and proud of the effort put forth by the teams uh, that we've assembled uh, here. Uh, at this time, we will be able to take a few questions. Are you getting any tips coming in at this point? It's been more than 24 hours. Are we any closer to figuring out where she is right now? We continue to get tips uh, uh, all the time. Those tips are being followed up by uh, teams uh, put together by both of the agencies standing behind me, and we continue to follow up on those tips. Sure. Can you walk us through that 911 sure. call and why it was unusual? What about it was unusual, that 911 call? Well, the 911 call was given uh, that night from the residents on a cell phone, um, but no contact was made with somebody that was on the other line, and that's what's unusual about that 911 call. There was no one communicating with our dispatcher. The word help, did you hear that? Did the dispatcher hear that? Uh, I, I don't know that... I don't know if the word help was said. I can't comment on that. I don't know if that was said, um, but there was some kind of disturbance going on and that's why law enforcement was sent to the house. Sheriff, what about what the Miami tip? Are you, are you actively searching out the timing? It would seem wouldn't add up, but I'm wondering what your office is. Uh, we are actively uh, researching that tip, um, but what I'm telling you is I'm the face of information. If it's something you guys need to know about, it'll come on from me, it'll come from our Facebook page, It'll come from the FBI Twitter account. That's what I'm saying is every tip continues to be followed up on. And if it's something that we need to get out to you, that we're looking for something, we will get that information and it will come directly from me out to you. So I guess that's my comment on that. And we continue to, to follow up on every tip that comes in. So what role does the FBI play? The FBI is assisting us in this age with this, along with the Department of Criminal Investigation. Um, they're providing support teams, staff, um, anything we need, the FBI is here uh, to assist us in any form. Sheriff, what can you tell us about what may have happened media? inside the home? Were there signs of a struggle? Uh, I can't comment on what's that. That's part of the active investigation. We continue to have teams on scene at the, at the residence to continue to process that scene. Uh, we're working with the state crime lab. It was coming up. We redid the scene to make sure we didn't miss anything. Uh, we continue to monitor that scene, so we're not going to comment on what took place inside the residence. You know, the 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 said the casings, gun casings were found, bullet casings were found, but yet you refused to say the manner in which the two were killed. Uh, the assumption would be that it was a homicide by shooting. Can you comment at all on cause of death at this point, given that discrepancy? We will not be causing a uh, comment on death. Uh, we're waiting for the autopsy reports to be done the autopsy is being done currently uh, after that we hope to get a preliminary autopsy results hopefully at four o'clock we'll be able to release more information well, about Sheriff, that is there information media. that you are aware of about the crime scene that you cannot share with us and can you tell us why you're not sharing some of that information right now because we don't want to we want to bring jamie home that's the main point i will not uh interrupt this investigation for anybody to have any information that's not necessary except for the essential people behind me and their staff that's why I won't give out any information. If we think it's key to the case where we need the public's help, we will disseminate that information. Uh, but until then, uh, our number one goal is to bring Jamie home. And no amount of information will be given out unless we feel it's appropriate to help. Sheriff, yes. is the community in danger? And what about the social media for the young girl? You, I understand you've been checking that. Yeah, we, are, we do follow up on all those leads. We're following up on, on phones. We're following up on social media. Um, that's where the expertise of both the Department of Criminal Investigation and the FBI experts come into play. They're going through that. Uh, the first part of your question, oh, the uh, danger. Uh, at this time, you know, I, I don't want to say that the, there's a danger to the community, but there's some unknowns in this case. Um, and, uh, you know, we're following up on leads, but at this time, I don't see a danger to the public, but we want everybody to remain uh, as some of these things. If there's a change in behavior, Please report that to our tip line. That's the key to why we're out here standing in front of you today. Again, our goal to bring Jamie home, that's our only goal. Sheriff, sure. have you questioned any people of interest? Uh, we've questioned a lot of people. 
um, you know, we follow up on every tip. So I guess, I guess again, if there was something of interest that I felt the public needed to know, we would disseminate that information. Sheriff, when was the last time Jamie was seen, someone had a contact with her? Uh, what can you tell us about that? Uh, I believe um, that um, Sunday afternoon uh, there was a family gathering, so they were, I mean, we continue to follow up on to make sure we're closing that timeline. That's part of our investigation is the timeline of this case, and we continue to follow up on that timeline. But Sunday afternoon, there was a family gathering that she attended. And tell us why you don't think this is a case of a girl who just ran away. Um, that would be part of the investigation that our tips are following up on. Um, and I, I'm telling you, Jamie's in, missing and endangered, and uh, th that's where I'm going to leave that. Sheriff, have you ever seen anything like this? <laughs> no, I, I haven't seen anything like this in, in rural western Wisconsin. Uh, we just don't see this, thankfully. Um, you know, and, and uh, I, I can't be more thankful for the team uh, that was built behind me, the team at the Sheriff's Department, and we'll continue to give you updates as needed on our Facebook page, FBI, Twitter account, and we will continue to battle... Uh, battle the tips that come in and, and bring Jamie home again that's our goal so we will be back here at four o'clock with an update same location same time so thank you thank you I think we got to get right there.